please rise for the singing of our national anthem. I'm Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, and on behalf of the people of a proud state, I want to extend our most sincere congratulations to the winter graduates of the class of 2020. This is certainly not the graduation day that any of you anticipated or hoped for, but it in no way lessens your accomplishments or diminishes your achievements. In the midst of this unprecedented public health crisis, you persevered and continued to stay Maryland strong. I hope this moment in our history serves as a reminder to all of you to always expect the unexpected and don't get thrown off course when obstacles appear from out of nowhere. During the course of your life, you're going to face moments of great adversity and uncertainty. It's during these times where it becomes more important than ever to remember to stay true to who you are and always stay positive. Together, we are going to defeat this deadly virus. And because of the talent and dedication of the members of the class of 2020, I am incredibly optimistic that the state of Maryland will soon return stronger and better than ever. Congratulations, stay safe, and may God bless you all. Good morning, I'm Chuck White and it is my honor and pleasure to serve as the president of Salisbury University. I welcome our students, families, friends, faculty, and staff as we come together to celebrate the class of 2020 commencement in this, our 96th year as a public institution of higher education. I know all our graduates worked very hard to complete their program requirements, whether that was this week last summer, or even last May. And many of those watching worked equally hard supporting our graduates so they could cross the finish line. It will be my pleasure to confer your degrees today. All of us share your sense of anticipation and joy. 2020 has been a year like none other in our collective memory. I'm inspired by how our campus has met the challenges we faced the resilience demonstrated in the face of many unknowns, and new skills that we've all developed together. We'll remember 2020 as a year of many challenges, but should not lose sight of the fact that tremendous efforts were made by all to keep us moving forward toward our individual and collective goals. Many of us had to learn new ways of doing things, and we all had reason to reflect on the importance of civic responsibility, empathy, and social justice in our own lives. 
Despite the challenges that 2020 presented, we had many collective and individual achievements this year. In January, Salisbury University received the Carnegie Foundation's prestigious community engagement designation. Salisbury is one of only 359 campuses nationwide to hold this distinction, which recognizes SU's commitment to community-engaged learning and the alignment of our campus mission, culture, and practices supporting noteworthy community engagement. This fall, we completed a campus climate study, which provides insight into areas in which we can improve and effective practices we should expand. The study complements our 2020 to 2025 University Strategic Plan, which includes the goal to strengthen our campus culture of inclusive excellence, support, and collaboration. Indeed, our students do succeed and continue to achieve great things within the classroom, in clinicals, in field experiences, creative spaces, and research labs, on the athletic fields, and within the community. Many have won nationally competitive awards and recognitions, including the Fulbright, Goldwater, Boren, and Critical Language and other prestigious national fellowships. And new this year, two students were named Congressional Black Caucus Foundation interns. Among our proudest accolades for the third consecutive year, SU was named one of the top producers of Fulbright students for 2019-2020 by the U.S. Department of State's Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs. With the support of our Nationally Competitive Fellowships Office and faculty advisors, our students have become extremely successful in winning these prestigious awards. SU students also struck it big with the United Nations Millennium Fellowships. More than 15,000 undergraduates from 1,400 campuses worldwide applied to join the Millennium Class of 2020. Fewer than 10% were selected as Millennium Fellows, including 13 students from Salisbury University. Wow. In addition, this year, several of our voice students had impressive wins at the National Association of Teachers of Singing Mid-Atlantic and National Competitions. We'll be hearing from Jay Copeland, a national title winner, later today. Many of our student athletes were not able to compete this year due to the impacts of COVID-19, but they continued to train and manage their academic responsibilities. Field hockey standout Arielle Johnston is a finalist for the NCAA Woman of the Year Award, and soccer midfielder Lydia Naram was our first student athlete to win a Fulbright Student Award. SU nursing students' first time pass rate on the National Council Licensure Examination, or NCLEX, was over 99% for 2019-2020. SU retains the highest 10-year average NCLEX pass rate of all campuses in the University System of Maryland. This achievement reflects not only on the outstanding education our students receive in the School of Nursing, but also in their general education and prerequisite courses. We continued the We Are SU campaign, a $75 million fundraising effort that is the largest in SU's history to support student scholarships and other significant campus needs. Last year, students, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and supporters contributed more than $11.4 million, the largest one-year fundraising total in campus history, and more than $2.6 million was provided for student scholarships and programs. So while we worked through a most unusual year, we continue to look ahead to bright prospects as we close in on SU's centennial in 2025. Graduates, you persevered in the face of all these changes and challenges. We thank you for your hard work and all that we learned from each of you during your time on campus in shaping the direction of SU moving forward. I know that in your time here, you have grown as individuals and scholars. You've learned to navigate academic challenges 
and you've amassed a huge body of knowledge about the world and your chosen field of study. I hope you also take with you the experiences of meeting new people from varied backgrounds, unique cultures, and perhaps a set of experiences and perspectives that are different from your own. And in benefiting from the diverse backgrounds of our students, faculty, and staff, you too have changed. Because like SU, our students must adapt with the times. Change is inevitable, and it gives every one of us the opportunity for a fresh start every day. And that is an important life lesson that I hope you keep in mind going forward. So students, value the traditions, such as the academic regalia that we wear today, the alma mater that we sing, the university mace on display, and the conferring of degrees that signify your achievements. Enjoy these celebrations and your status as alumni. But at the same time, I encourage you to embrace change, to meet what's new in the days to come. Among the many values we have worked to impart to our graduates is a significant emphasis on civic engagement and being a contributing member of the communities in which they live. Students, dedicate your time and talents to addressing the challenges that you see in your work and your, in your personal lives and to doing what you can to make this world a better place. I know that many of you feel some uncertainty today some of you have jobs or graduate school in your immediate future, while others are still exploring the many possibilities available to you. And that's okay. Although commencement is very definitely a celebration of your accomplishments, the word commencement itself signifies a beginning. I hope that each of you will be open to new experiences, to continuing to grow and take risks, to making mistakes and learning from them, and to facing adversity and rising above it. No one can control the challenges and tragedies that sometimes arise in our lives suddenly and without warning. But what we can control is how we react to those challenges and how we support each other and work in collaboration toward a better future. Graduates, use what you have learned here to be an impactful and contributing member of your profession and your community. Remember that one of the most important skills in both your career and your personal life is the ability to be a careful listener. Express yourself with respect and model civility in all your interactions. Our world is sorely in need of that. Members of the class of 2020, among you are many gifted scholars, performers, artists, athletes, and leaders. Thank you for sharing your talents and abilities with us at Salisbury University. I wish you all much success and personal happiness. I hope that you will always remember your alma mater. Please keep SU in your hearts and minds and use the knowledge and skills you have gained here to make the world a better place. Congratulations. Now, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our very own Nathaniel Sansom, representing the University System of Maryland Board of Regents as one of two student regents. A senior here at Salisbury University, Nate Sansom is a double major studying conflict analysis and dispute resolution and political science within SU's Glenda Chatham and Robert G. Clark Honors College. Greetings. I am delighted to have this opportunity to extend best wishes and congratulations from the University System of Maryland and the Board of Regents. I know this is not the commencement ceremony that any of us had envisioned, and it is certainly unfair that your class has been deprived of what should have been a day of pure joy and celebration of what you have accomplished. But I would submit that these circumstances as harsh as they may be, are not without reward. A light has been shown on your tenacity. It would have been so easy to let this situation overwhelm you, to bury you, but you fought on. 
This was not a once in a generation challenge or even a once in a lifetime. This was a once in a century and you prevailed. That is worthy of recognition. For these same reasons, I want to give recognition and thanks to our president, Chuck White and his leadership team. Under circumstances more challenging than anyone could have imagined, Dr. White continues to prove himself as a driven, dynamic, and tireless leader with an expansive vision for Salisbury University. He is positioning SU for both physical and intellectual growth. He is strengthening SU's public and private sector partnerships. He is committed to embracing diversity and inclusion, to reaching out, involving, and uniting the entire SU community. And of course, I would be remiss if I did not recognize the outstanding faculty and staff at Salisbury who are preparing analytical and socially responsible graduates and leaders. The University System of Maryland takes pride in the success of Salisbury University, a top producer of Fulbright faculty and students with 21 winners since 2012, one third of whom have hailed from historically underrepresented communities. Designated by the National Science Foundation as a center for undergraduate research and consistently ranked as one of the nation's best in quality and value in national publications. As a Salisbury Seagull, I know firsthand how important these accomplishments are. But it is your accomplishment and hard work that we celebrate today. Although this past year has been turned upside down by the COVID-19 pandemic, nothing can diminish the hard work, perseverance, and dedication that have gotten each of you to where you are. Likewise, nothing should be allowed to lessen the pride you and your friends and family take in what you have accomplished in reaching this milestone. There may be some of you who have family and friends that are no longer with us to celebrate this momentous occasion, but we know that they are here with you in spirit and are very proud of you. And so congratulations to all of you. Today you become an enduring part of Salisbury University's proud and impressive legacy. No matter what direction your life now takes, no matter what challenges you will next confront, know that your education here has prepared you well. Once again, Congratulations to all of you, and know that our entire University System of Maryland family wishes you all the best in the years to come. Thank you, Regent Sansom. I now introduce Dr. Lily Leonard, President of the Salisbury University Alumni Association. Dr. Leonard is a two-time graduate of Salisbury University. In 2009, Lily earned a Bachelor of Arts followed by a Master of Education in 2011. She went on to earn a Doctor of Education degree from Frostburg State University and today serves as Senior Director of Development Operations at the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association in Frederick, Maryland. Welcome, Dr. Leonard. Thank you, Dr. White. As a proud two-time graduate of SU, I'm honored to be with you today at your virtual commencement. Today, you join an exceptional and energetic group of Salisbury University alumni. Your class in particular has been faced with unprecedented adversity, but through that adversity, you have adapted and persevered. These traits will serve you well throughout life. Today, we welcome you into a robust community of more than 55,000 other alumni supporting you and cheering on your accomplishments. Make good use of them by remaining involved with SU through participation in the activities and events that the Alumni Association has to offer. Keep in touch with the alumni office and let us know where you are and what you're doing. We look forward to congratulating you on continued successes throughout your life, just as we congratulate you today. And now it is my honor to announce the 2020 Faculty Appreciation Award recipients. Earlier this fall, the Awards and Scholarship Committee, comprised of members of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, met to select a recipient from each of the four endowed schools and the College of Health and Human Services. To be eligible, nominees have served on the faculty full-time for at least 10 years, have made a lasting impression on students, have provided dynamic classroom instruction, exhibit attributes graduates can take with them into their careers, and have made a difference in the lives of their students. I am pleased to announce our 2020 award recipients, Dr. Scott Mazzetti, College of Health and Human Services, Dr. Michael Lewis, Bolton School of Liberal Arts, 
Dr. Sophie Wang, Henson School of Science and Technology, Dr. Leonard Arvey, Purdue School of Business, and Dr. Ron Sires, Seidel School of Education. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Leonard. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Jeremiah Copeland. Jeremiah graduated magna cum laude with Bachelor of Arts degrees in theater and music in May of this year. Along with several other eligible students, he wrote and presented a speech to the commencement committee. Jay was selected by the committee to present his speech today. I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like that river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change is going to come. Dear class of 2020, these powerful lyrics are from the song, A Change is Gonna Come, made famous by Sam Cooke during the Civil Rights Movement. I sang this song in my seventh grade talent show, not really understanding the significance of the words at the time. The overwhelming response from that performance led to an invitation to participate in the Maryland Summer Center for the Arts Musical Theater program held on Salisbury University's campus. This positive response was a far cry from the experience I had had at my previous school, where I was attacked by five students. That trauma left me socially withdrawn, embarrassed, suicidal, and academically at risk. But a change did come. That summer program changed the trajectory of my life and made me aware that what I loved the most I could potentially do for a living. My confidence was restored, it helped me to discover that the power of my voice and my life took a more positive path because of the experience I had at SU. <laughs> now, I'll be honest, as a Salisbury local, when I first walked onto the Salisbury campus for my audition, I looked around and I said, yep, I am never going here, ever. <laughs> We all can see how that ended. <laughs> what I'm saying is to never deny or trust your life's process. Five years after that summer program, during my senior year of high school, I enrolled, auditioned, and was accepted as a music major at Salisbury University. Our seeds were planted when we decided to choose Salisbury University as our home. Entering our freshman year, we were given the tools to create a foundation, and throughout this process, we have experienced the greatest highs at sometimes the lowest times in our lives. We have found ourselves, gotten lost, and rediscovered ourselves all over again. The countless hours we have spent in the pit of the academic commons have paid off in mirrored ways, although there were days we felt alone as if invisible. Fed up with being invisible. However, I remember November 4th, 2019, the day where the students of Salisbury University rose up against the racist, misogynistic, hostile vandalism on the walls of Fulton Hall. That day, we rallied in the Great Hall of Holloway Hall and proclaimed our frustration, our anger, and our fears. That day, I realized that people who consistently try to knock you down will never win because of how strong we are together and how firm our foundation truly is. Our strength was tested again a couple of months later when the coronavirus pandemic took 100,000 plus lives nationally and millions more globally. Unemployment, anxiety, depression, domestic violence, and hopelessness skyrocketed. This biological pandemic coupled with the pandemic of institutional racism alive and well since 1619, when the first enslaved Africans were brought to our shores, has revealed itself once again and made manifest to this nation of people who refused to believe it was real. As a black student and a black alumnus of Salisbury University, I stand before you today to tell you that black lives matter, and I will say it again, black lives matter. The two pandemics, one called COVID-19, 
the other racism slash white supremacy have opened our eyes and called on us to dig deep, to call things out for what they are and allowed us room for rectification. Salisbury University has placed us in a constructive, cultivating environment that has given us the opportunity to succeed, but also to test the waters, fail, and learn from these failures. <laughs> Making straight A's doesn't always mean you've succeeded. And our failures can be the best teachers in our lives. They teach us to humble ourselves, to be grateful for the good times. During our time at Salisbury University and through these unprecedented times, we have been sculpting, molding, and solidifying our foundational base. Now it's time to build our homes and to create our new normal. It is time to acknowledge our history as we write R-I-G-H-T, our history. It is time to see our dreams come to fruition. It is time to become that doctor, lawyer, psychologist, social worker, musician, actor, teacher, professor, engineer, journalist, technician, pharmacist, surgeon, nurse, scientist, accountant, counselor, properly trained police officer, professional athlete, dentist, architect, shall I continue, chef, designer, business owner, entrepreneur, finder of the cancer cure, finder of the corona cure, and fighter against racism. It's time, my brothers and sisters. Just remember that a house is built from the bottom up and not from the top down, and that it takes time. <laughs> that little boy who was attacked by five students in what seems like a lifetime ago stands here today and says, We made it! We made it! We made it! Made it! Made it, made it, oh, oh, yeah, a change has come. Congratulations, class of 2020. Blessings to you all. 2021, we are taking you by force. Thank you, Jay, for your moving words. We're delighted to have you back on campus and wish you continued success. Good morning, my name is Karen Olmsted and I have the privilege of serving as Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Salisbury University. I join President White and others in congratulating you on your perseverance to complete your academic programs despite the challenges we face this year. I'd also like to thank faculty and staff who mobilized to address the challenges presented by COVID-19. Many of our faculty expressed interest in enhancing their online teaching skills and more than 200 engaged in substantial development work to prepare for this academic year. I'm proud of the efforts of our faculty to effectively migrate many of their courses to hybrid or online delivery given the current public health crisis and of the fact that SU is delivering more in-person instruction than most campuses in Maryland or across the nation. Much like this virtual commencement, we've had to do many things a little differently this year. Throughout 2020, we built community through virtual meetings and events too numerous to count. For example, across the year, students, faculty, and staff participated in dozens of campus dialogues, honor society inductions, and recognition ceremonies. Although these were held virtually, each was meaningful and an important way to connect our campus in a time of crisis. One of my favorite quotes is from Marcel Proust, who wrote, the real voyage of discovery consists of not seeing new landscapes, but having new eyes. I hope you found your education at SU to be a voyage of discovery about the world around us, about the human experience, about the skills, knowledge, and dispositions necessary for your intended career path, and most importantly, about your ability to build the future you seek for yourself and your community. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Andrew Martino, Dean of Salisbury University's Clark Honors College to recognize our honors graduates. Dr. Martino. Thank you, Dr. Olmsted. 
Students in the Clark Honors College come from all SU schools and the College of Health and Human Services. They represent athletes on nearly all of our varsity and club teams and perform in campus plays, musicals, and musical ensembles, as well as serve as leaders in student organizations across campus. Undergraduate students graduating with university honors from the Clark Honors College have completed at least 21 hours of coursework in the Clark Honors College, as well as completed a major research project or senior honors thesis. They are also required to maintain a grade point average of at least 3.3. Fewer than 2% of each year's graduating class earns this distinction. Those students graduating with university honors wear a bronze medallion presented to them by the Clark Honors College to signify this achievement. Now, I have the great privilege of recognizing students who have achieved high grade point averages and have been awarded Latin honors from Salisbury University. Candidates with grade point averages of 3.5 to 3.69 earn the award of cum laude and wear a maroon honor cord. Candidates with grade point averages of 3.7 to 3.89 earn the award of magna cum laude and wear a maroon and white honor cord. Candidates with grade point averages of 3.9 and higher earn top Latin award of summa cum laude and wear a maroon and gold honor cord. Congratulations to these candidates who have received these top honors. Thank you, Provost Olmsted and Dr. Martino. At this time, I'm pleased to say degrees will now be conferred. I recognize the deans of our academic colleges and schools, and I ask them to present their candidates for degrees. We'll start with Dr. Kelly Fiala, founding dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Thank you, Dr. White. The College of Health and Human Services provides high quality programs that prepare students for productive careers as professionals in the areas of health and human services. With undergraduate degrees in community health, social work, nursing, exercise science, respiratory therapy, and medical laboratory science, master's programs in athletic training, applied health physiology, nursing, and social work, and a doctoral program in nursing practice. The college provides a wide array of accredited programs that all exceed national standards for excellence. In the College of Health and Human Services, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts in Social Work, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Next up is Dr. Martin Paraboom. Thank you, Dr. Fiala. Good morning. I am Martin Paraboom, Dean of the Charles R. and Martha N. Fulton School of Liberal Arts. The diverse and varied Fulton School of Liberal Arts plays a vital role in the academic experience of nearly every Salisbury University student. Our unique, vibrant, and well-respected educational community offers programs based in the visual and performing arts, the humanities, and the social sciences. In the Fulton School of Liberal Arts, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Science. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Dr. Scott, you're next. Thank you, Dr. Paraboom. I'm Michael Scott, Dean of the Richard A. Henson School of Science and Technology. The mission of the Henson School is to provide an outstanding student-centered learning environment in which expert faculty empower students with knowledge and skills in the sciences, mathematics, and engineering. Within Henson School majors, students develop the knowledge and skills they need to function as professionals within their disciplines. The Henson School also has an integral role to play 
in liberal arts education, providing core courses in science for several programs in other schools at the university. From the Henson School of Science and Technology, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Dr. Weir, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Thank you, Dr. Scott. I am Christy Weir, Dean of the Franklin P. Purdue School of Business. In the Purdue School, students have the opportunity to study at one of the best business schools in the world. We have worked diligently to obtain and maintain accreditation by AACSB International, enabling SU to offer students an outstanding business education. Our academic programs reflect the highest standards with an emphasis on the entrepreneurial spirit, teamwork, and active learning. Our graduates enter their careers with a leadership drive to succeed and ethically serve business, government, and the community. From the Purdue School of Business, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Last, but certainly not least, is Dr. Laurie Henry. Thank you, Dr. Weir. Good morning. My name is Laurie Henry, and I'm the Dean of the Samuel W. and Marilyn C. Seidel School of Education. In the Seidel School of Education, our programs teach our graduates to incorporate an understanding of social context, cognitive and psychological development, and professional ethics into their practices. Our graduates leave SU with an understanding of human diversity and teaching practice to develop their student to their fullest potential. From the Seidel School of Education, I present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. These candidates have had the opportunity to complete their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty for degrees. Congratulations. Now back to you, Dr. White. Thank you, deans. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University System of Maryland, I hereby confer upon those of you who have completed requirements the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Social Work, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Please turn your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. Congratulations. Graduates, it is a great honor to have conferred to you your degrees today in acknowledgement of your determination, intelligence, and ingenuity. Again, congratulations and best wishes for good health, great happiness, and many future successes. As noted earlier, the faculty have played an important role in your achievement. Faculty, thank you for the education and support that you have extended to the class of 2020. And let's not forget about the family members and friends who have helped you along the way. Spouses, children, parents, and others who supported you in countless ways, I thank you. Thank you for joining us today for this first virtual commencement ceremony. We conclude today's ceremony with the singing of the Salisbury University alma mater.
Thank you.